Multiple choice, no calculate. Styrene has the empirical formula CH with a molar mass of 104.13 grams per mole. Approximately how many hydrogen atoms are present in a 52 gram sample of styrene? Tricky question. First thing we're gonna do is take a look at the empirical formula for styrene, CH. The molar mass of this empirical formula is about 13 grams per mole. Boom, carbon, hydrogen. However, we're told that styrene has a molar mass of 104 grams per mole. So this clearly is not the formula for styrene, not its molecular formula, not its true or actual formula. So let's figure out how many times bigger our molecular formula is than the empirical formula. We got 104.13 grams per mole. We're comparing that to 13 grams per mole. Now we don't get to use a calculator here. How am I gonna do this? Tell you what, the number 10 is super handy on problems on the multiple choice. Just think in my brain, 13 times 10 is 130. So it doesn't quite go in there 10 times. Boom, this would be 10 times. And then I'm just gonna do some quick math here. If I had 117, that would be nine times. And then, oh my goodness, 104 would be eight times. So our molecular formula, eight times larger than the empirical formula. Which means that styrene's true molecular formula is gonna be C8H8. Boom, didn't actually answer the question. Approximately how many hydrogen atoms are present in a 52 gram sample of styrene. All right, start with my 52 grams of C8H8. Gonna convert to moles. We're told the molar mass is 104.13 grams. And again, we're working with C8H8. Now let's convert from moles of styrene to moles of hydrogen. For every one mole of styrene, there are eight moles of hydrogen. This is why it was so important that we figured out that molecular formula. And then finally, we're gonna go from moles to atoms. One mole, Avogadro's number. All right, let's do this mental math. 52 times one, 52. 52 divided by 104, hopefully you can figure that out. That's about 0.5 moles of C8H8. 0.5 times eight, four moles of hydrogen. And then four times Avogadro's number, let's just do four times six, that's 24 times 10 to the 23. Or if we put this in correct scientific notation, 2.5 four times 10 to the 24. Boom, answer choice C.